today I am doing another test of the iMars SP B150 solar panel uh, in the dark out of the sun I have 5 watts on the EcoFlow River Pro and the surface with the infrared thermometer is 27 degrees 23 I um, think this is more accru accurate I take the temperature of the solar panel directly I do it in the sun And I have 82 watts direct in the sun. Eighty two watts. Forty two and twenty eight on the panel. Eighty one watts. Eighty, seventy-nine. It heats up. Forty-nine on the panel. Thirty-three. It will take two minutes or three to get down to about 40 watts. We will wait a little bit. 76. Seventy five on the polyester, fifty five degrees, and on the panel, thirty seven. We have seventy three watts. And we look to the sun. There are no clouds at the moment. We have 70 watts, 69 at 60 degrees on the polyester and 42 on the solar on the solar cells a little bit of wind it is only a little bit
that cools down the solar panel. Sixty six watts. Fifty eight degrees on the panel. Forty six. Sixty two watts, fifty eight degrees, forty nine on the solar cells. Sixty watts. Fifty five watts, sixty two degrees, and fifty three on the panel. And no clouds. Fifty three watts, forty eight, forty seven, it hops a little bit up and down because. The single cells on the on the panel are overlapping each other. They are not soldered directly to each other. Thirty three, thirty eight, thirty five, thirty, twenty nine, twenty seven, twenty six, and this is not a cloud. This is Not a good contact between the single cells. Thirty seven at polyester temperature fifty nine and fifty seven degrees. 
Celsius on the on the solar cells. 37 watts. And it will not get higher. It is 15 o'clock in Germany. In June. It is a good electrical connection. Seven watts. And no cloud. I touch it a little bit for electrical connection between the cells. 35 degrees Celsius. 35 in full sun for a 150 watt panel. I put the plug out and here is the same model. I plug it in. The river is tracking the MPPT. The second panel, 30 watts, 30 watts, surface temperature on the polyester, 62 degrees Celsius, on the solar panel, 71, because we have no plugged in Um, there's no um, power uh, pulled by a um, power station, then it heats more up. When power is pulled, it cools down because light energy will be converted into electrical energy and this cools a little bit down the cells. I think 29 watts. Okay, it goes further down. 24, yet we look for clouds. There is no cloud. No cloud. Twenty-four watts. I will move it a little bit. Twenty three watts, twenty two. Surface is seventy one and the polyester sixty. On the back side, it is fifty degrees or fifty five. Here is 54, 51, but overall both panels are not good, they are not good. I plug the second again. And the full sun. It's tracking. Thirty-two watts. Thirty-two. 
and I measure the temperature again. It's 59 on the polyester and 64 directly on the solar panel. Sixty-four degrees Celsius on the panel. I put the infrared thermometer direct to the panel because um, it's measuring reflections. When I do not put it directly, it's measuring the uh, ref reflections from the sun. 63 degrees. And I took it a little bit further. 63. 63. Okay, there's no reflections. But it could be 33 watts. It is 16 o'clock. So the two watts. Plug in the other one. I'm waiting for tracking the sun. It's not the, the maximum power point. Now the second panel is at 33 watts. The same wattage like the other one. It is full in the sun. and no clouds. Okay, thank you for watching the video and goodbye.